Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are going to look at number forms. So specifically, number forms, we're going to be talking about standard decimal form and fraction form. So we will be doing a little bit of converting from a fraction to a decimal and decimal to fraction, but very, very minimal. Um, mainly, we're looking at how to write numbers in different ways. And that's all fractions and decimals really are. But, but we're going to do a very basic lesson on writing it in different forms. So let's talk about standard form. Standard is form is how you normally write a number. It's the standard. So here's an example. 15, the number, is 15 in standard form. In written form or in word form, we would write it out, 15. But in standard form, we would write the numbers 1, 5. Standard form, that's it. That's what standard form is. So let's look at some examples of numbers in standard form. There's 1, 12.9, 36, 45, 89.3, 500. Those are examples of numbers in standard form. All right? Here's another one, 74. All of these numbers are just written out in standard form. It's also called, sometimes called standard decimal form. It's just a standard written out way that we have numbers. Now, here's an example type of question you might be asked. Write 7,012 and 3 tenths in standard form. Now, 7,012 means that we have the 7 in the thousands column. We have 12 here in the tens and ones column. And 3 tenths is is right there. That's the place value for three tenths. All right. That is standard form, 7,012 and three tenths. It's important to remember that this position right here is called tenths, and you can be asked to put numbers in standard form when we refer to tenths there. If we went two decimal places, it would be the hundredths and so on. But uh, typically, the questions um, that you'll be dealing with will have numbers. Um, just up to the tenths column. But you need to know the thousands, hundreds, tens, units, and tenths column for writing numbers in standard form. You'll need to know those. All right, let's take a look now at fraction form. And then we'll kind of bounce back and forth. Fraction form is called that because it's written in a fraction. One tenth, it, for example, is a fraction of that number over ten. Okay, so a tenth is one tenth would be one over ten. Three tenths would be three over ten. Four tenths would be four over ten. So in fraction form, all you have to do if you're asked for a tenth is to put it over ten. Okay, we're not reducing the fractions to lowest terms. We are just writing them in fraction form. Okay, any fraction can be written as a decimal as well. And to do that, you take the top of the fraction divided by the bottom of the fraction. That's what we're going to spend most of our time on. So let's go ahead and do that. If I'm asked to write in standard and fraction form 2 and 3 tenths, in standard form I would write 2.3. That's 2 and 3 tenths. That's how I would write it in standard form, 2.3. As a fraction I would write it as 2 and 3 tenths. 3 tenths is 3 over 10. That's it. We're not doing a lot of complicated math with this. We're just writing it in two different forms. 3 tenths is 0.3. 3 tenths is 3 over 10. They mean the same thing. All right. Now let's look at this. We're asked to write in standard form 7 and 6 twelfths. To do this, if you're given it in fraction form and you're asked to write it in standard form, these are the steps you'll follow. Number one, write down the whole number, 7. Two, the fraction, to convert it into a decimal, you take the top or the numerator and you divide by the bottom, which is called the denominator. So in this case, the fraction, 6 over 12, is 6 divided by 12. And that gives you 0.5. You put them together, 7.5. All right? That's how we write fraction form into standard form. We're going to do two more questions like this, same steps we're going to follow. So if you'd like to pause the recording and try this one on your own, you sure can. Nine and three-fifths written in standard form. First, write down the whole number. 
9. The fraction is the top divided by the bottom, so we'll do 3 divided by 5, which gives you 0.6. Step 3, put them together, 9.6. Pretty straightforward. All right, let's do one more. This one's going to be a little bit more complicated. 12 and 1 quarter. We're going to write down the whole number, 12. We're going to do the fraction. That's the top divided by the bottom. 1 divided by 4 is equal to 0 0.25. Put them together and I get 12.25. That's how we write a, from fraction form into standard form. All right, quick recap. We did this standard decimal form, remembering that tenths is the first decimal place and hundredths would be the second. And then we converted from into fraction form by writing them as a fraction or from fraction to standard by dividing. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a great day.